So basically what I'm looking to do, uh, I'll give you a little bit of help on hitting the driver and getting the ball uh, to give you a bit more, getting the driver to give you a bit more distance. One common mistake golfers do is they don't have the ball quite far far enough in the stance and the driver at impact is showing its true luff, which on this case is 10 and a half degrees. However, when we're hitting a driver, we want to ideally catch it on the upswing. So making sure the ball is level with the inside of your left armpit, if you like. That's a good position to have. And also just put your spine back a little bit, just tilt the spine back. That enables you to catch the ball on the upswing, hit it on the upswing. When we're hitting a driver, we're looking for a certain launch, around about 14, 15 degrees of launch and a specific spin rate of around 2000. Now, if you don't know what your numbers are with your driver, come and spend some time in here in the studio with me or any of the team, same down at Lytham Golf Academy, and we'll help you find the right numbers. So ball forward in my stance, spine tilted back a little bit, and then hit it on the upswing. Okay, nice and straight, carried 230 yards, and finished 245 yards. Gonna have a little look at the spin and launch. So launch angle was 15 degrees, spin 3,200. Launch 15, spin 3,200. With the exact same ball, I'm now gonna have a go with the, a different driver. This is a driver I've been playing with lately. This is an Epic. So this is the Epic. As I mentioned, we're looking for a high launch, low spin. That spun at 3,200 with Johnny's driver. This is me hitting the current driver I've been playing. Let's see if we can make a change to the spin rate. Okay, I take that nice hit. Already, I don't know if you can notice that ball's carrying longer. That's carried 250 and is running out to 275. 250 carry 275. Felt the same swing, nothing different. Ball position was forward, remember that. The big difference is the spin rate, I think. So launch at 13.6 degrees, the spin on that was 19. 25, 1,925. So I got right in my efficient uh, parameters there, if you like. So I launched it at 13, 14 degrees, and my spin was below 2,000. I've got to say, there is nothing wrong with this driver of Johnny's, but th the setup and the spec of it, despite it looking the same, feeling the same, being a similar price point, cost me about 30 yards. Are you using the right driver? And if so, is it set up correctly for you? Now, I will say this model of Johnny's, it is the M1. I could make some alterations to the head to change that spin. I could move the weight forward. I can move the weights around a little bit. I could also put a different shaft in. John uses his bright yellow shaft because he likes a bright yellow shaft, but it also does perform for him. The reason I use this club is purely because the spin drops, the ball goes further, and I don't need to hit it any further. If you need any help establishing what your spin and launch is, by all means, come and have a quick chat with us.